All right, third option here. I get my underhook, all right, my knees up. I want you guys to really think about getting your elbow, this elbow, out from under them, right? So when I have an underhook, if I just have my hand out, that's not gonna do much for me, okay? Now I have to try to curl his body weight, right? And with him squeezing on me and trying to kill me, that's not gonna be very effective, okay? So I need to get that arm deep enough that my elbow is out. So if I get stuck here, right? I got my hand in, but I can't get any farther. I'm gonna pop my hips. I'm not gonna get this big bridge, right? Which is a lot of energy for not a lot of return. I just wanna pop my hips, all right? Almost like I'm doing a hip hop for a power clean, right? Just a little pop. It's a little pop and I'm reaching deeper each time until that elbow pops out. Now when I catch and I throw, right, I can use my shoulder and my chest instead of just my bicep to move. All right, last piece, I'm not sure what my left hand's doing there, don't worry about that one, it just, it just does that sometimes, right? So instead of just throwing this way, I also wanna turn my hand, like I'm throwing a shot point, all right, so my palm is up, okay? So I reach, I turn, I throw, that'll help turn my shoulders so I can come around and catch this foot, all right? So our first option was we ran him over, he pushed back into me, I tried to take him over the other way, he pulled back, right? His, his other option to defend this is to drive his shoulder forward, okay? He uses this wizard, tries to drive me to the ground, get my head down, right? And then he'll probably grab my head, turn me over, or he'll pop his hips up and step out, right? So as soon as I feel him starting to crank on my shoulder, it doesn't feel great, I'm just gonna take that hand, I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I was on top. I'm just gonna itch my belly button, scratch my nose, my arm's free, all right? Difference being, it can't be that slow when we're in this position, okay? Because it's not, it's not gonna do anything to control his body, right? Instead of doing it that slowly, I want you to think about strumming the guitar like you're a rock star, okay? So when he whizzers down, I'm gonna time it, swing my arm, and I'm over his hip, okay? Now I'm on the turtle position as opposed to inside control like we were last time, so I still have to get him there, okay, in order to continue the drill. So I'm just gonna unhook his leg, I'm gonna block his shin with my knee here, I'm gonna grab his other hip, and I'm gonna pull him back over my knee to lay him back down. Okay, and then it's his turn. He frames, he's up, he swims his underhook, I wizard, he comes up, and I'm gonna drive forward. All right, I'm trying to put his head on the ground, and he's gonna swing his arm like he's a rock star. Lock the knee, breaks my hip down. My, my arms are already in, right? Elbows tight to my body. I'm looking for frames immediately, okay? I don't want my arms out way out here where they're not being useful and he can get chest to chest. Okay, my goal when I'm on the bottom is to never allow somebody's chest to touch my chest. Okay, no matter what that takes except giving him my back. That's the only option that's not available to me at this point. Yes? Question? Limp, limp arm out. One, two, three. 